Hey there, it's Shauna Hart, Calm Warrior Coaching and owner of EarthFit Personal Training. I am here with my friend, Chef Lance, um, who is the creator of uh, Bone Broth that I have been um, an affiliate for for a long time. So we're sitting in a kitchen of a house that we stayed at for a workshop that we're in uh, Carlsbad for, which has been amazing. And it's been a great pleasure to get to know you. And so I figured I'd spend some time asking him a few questions about his bone broth and any other information that comes up. So sure. thank you for letting Let's me interview you. Um, first, is there anything you want to share before I start my questions about kind of how you got into the business uh, of bone broth? Well, yeah, I mean, I've been, uh, just so everyone knows, I've been a chef for over 30 years and uh, I got introduced to bone broth in 2006 through Paul Check and through uh, the Weston A. Price Foundation. Uh, the way I was introduced was just through a quick article called The Be uh, Broth is Beautiful and some of the words and uh, stuff about it in Nourishing Traditions, which is a phenomenal book for anyone out there who wants to get into the nourishing traditions that we, uh, we have in our heritage. Mm -hmm. um, and one of them being bone broth, fermented foods, kombucha. Um, and they teach you in that book sprouted seeds and nuts, which are just like the rage. Everything is like the rage. And these people have been doing this for a long time. Um, you know, like this paleo movement was really, you know, here it is. And you got paleo granola, sprouted seeds, sprouted nuts. And, and this is what, what's in that book. So anyway, bone broth was a component, Shauna. Mm -hmm. And um, right around 2007, after my own small, my first little awakening, I had 11.11.07. Got a vision from God to bring this beautiful frozen bone broth to market because there was no such thing. And uh, so I was reading all the historical evidence of the the the, the let's just call it the virility mm -hmm. of bone broth, the, the, the stuff that it can do for you and, and the cultures, uh, cultural history it has mm -hmm. through, through many different cultures um, and, and the history of bone broth going way back to Mamadides and Hippocrates mm -hmm. in the days when food was medicine. There was no medicine. Food was medicine, and that's how you got your medicine and herbs and energy and earth connection and all these different things, earth fit. You know what a great title, mm -hmm. and uh, but the the um, idea of bone broth was this uh, simmered. Uh, so you, here you are, you're hunter gathering. You're going. You got your animal. You've you've you're feeding your tribe. You're feeding your clan. You're feeding your family, and now you have these bones and skin, and you have uh, these things left over um, from from that. Yeah. And so what, well, let's get the let's get out of that. So I, I literally found out recently like the turtle shells back in like. The Caribbean and stuff were what they were using to cook the oh, broths wow. in. And by this time, already some pots and pans had come around and people were putting things in cauldrons. Mm -hmm. They had, you know, witches had cauldrons. You see it, Halloween's coming up here. Yeah. And, you know, you see them doing this thing. And, and that's literally what it was. So Great. it was a long, it, it included bones, uh, vegetables or herbs and seeds and um, I think roots mm -hmm. and a fungus potentially, which is mushrooms and different things. So it can include a lot of different things. It morphed into traditional bone broth, which is what we make, which is um, a slow simmered, a uh, lot of bones, mm -hmm. all organic. Um, we include carrot, celery, onions, and ginger, and garlic, and some roots, and some herbs. We have finished with thyme and parsley. Yeah. And those are just the traditional uh, things you'd find in bone broth. So. Uh, a couple of things about bone broth. Uh, the big question is always, what's the difference between bone broth and stock? Yeah. And uh, we can go into the differences of bone broth. So again, we have a, uh, this huge history of bone broth coming up. Now we have to kind of recreate yeah. what people are um, knowing about bone broth because mm -hmm. it's not all the same. I, I just described it to you last night. Mm -hmm. You know, there's two cars driving down the road. One's a Kia. And one's a Tesla or maybe a Maserati. Yeah. In my case, you'd have like a, um, what's that car in, in, let's just call it a Maserati because yeah. that's a pretty good car. Yeah. <laughs> I, I or, that, or that. Or the Rolls Royce like or whatever. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, you got the key over here and they're both called cars. Yeah. This, here they are. They're, they're a car. That's a car and that's a car. But there's a big difference. Absolutely. Huge difference. You just for cost. Yep. How they're made, the thought that goes in them, the engineering, mm -hmm. the, the, the components. Yep. So this is the way we're going to dissect parts. the bone broth as well. So quick definition, stock was what morphed over the centuries because that was what they were using in cooking. And it's just generally a smaller, shorter cook time, has bones and vegetables, not really with most chefs. 
not really thought out too much what's in there. The bone broth was made for healing. And the healing came into the long, slow, slow simmer, mm -hmm. the extraction of the gelatin, the collagen, the minerals, the amino acids, yeah. the marrow. I mean, so I basically great... everything our bodies need to kind of... In the Chinese culture, food is medicine. And uh, I mean, uh, in Chinese uh, medicine, you are what you eat. Mm -hmm. um, we like to say at bonebroth.com, you are what you absorb. Yeah. And uh, they, we'll get into the healing benefits in a, in a second. But mm -hmm. be sure as well for us folks and for Shauna, a couple of things about our particular bone broth at bonebroth.com. The number one thing is the water quality. Mm -hmm. So up until recently, you can make bone broth out of, out of many wells and waters because there was no issue with the water quality, but mm -hmm. again, without spending a Paul Check two and a half hour interview about the water systems and all the agricultural stuff, yeah. suffice it to say we need to use good water in our bone broth, only bone broth on the planet, woohoo, mm -hmm. that uses spring water, Palomar Mountain spring water, about an hour from here, truthfully, up yeah. in a mountain, the deep well water, uh, artisan well that's extremely pure, mm -hmm. and then we have our certified organic, not claiming organic, not talking about organic, Certified organic costs money, costs time, and it's you have to keep track and you have to source everything impeccably, and uh, so we, we and then we have the uh, the traditional method, frozen fresh broth like Grandma used to make. Mm -hmm. So when anyone put a no one ever made a cup of bone broth. You don't make a cup of bone broth. You make a pot of bone broth because it takes 18, 24 hours. And stocks, again, generally cook a little shorter. We're way past our time already. That's all right. Everybody's still here. Everybody's still here. Okay. <laughs> well, I'll try to f finish it up. I, I'm talking too many words. But no, anyway, I love it. This is great. So this is, this, is what, this is what bone broth is. And, um, again, the difference is being, you know, look at the label mm -hmm. and really understand there's no, there's no real... Um, uh, vitality to certain mm -hmm. foods that have been shelf stable and whatnot and uh, put into things like that but rest assured here you don't have to think about those this is the bone broth that we make this is the what I like to say this is the stuff yeah that we got excited about in 2014 when bone broth became popular because yeah. before... I still think it's not out there and that's why I'm doing this video too because it's I think there's a there. lot of people that don't know it and I would say that it's probably Tons. more recognized here on the west coast as I've seen it there's a lot of places that offer it um, which is why I ship it from here over and I have been for a couple of years to the east coast and I'll buy it in bulk and I'll, I'll drink one every day so I think that there's a lot more knowledge and education that can be out there for the country for the for the world in general about the benefits of it absolutely and the main benefit of bone broth so so why would you drink bone broth why would you incorporate it into your life style mm -hmm. um the main benefit of course is the avail the bioavailability because this is this is food mm -hmm. not not sold in the supplement section not over on the shelf stable area this yeah. is food perishable real food is perishable and um so your body recognizes it mm -hmm. molecularly we have the gelatin collagen combination, which is the, really the, the same thing, two different words for it. And that is what is the stuff your body's made out of, the connective tissue. Mm -hmm. It goes through your digestive tract where 80% of your immune system is. Mm -hmm. Heals the immune system. We like to say heal and seals the gut lining. And when it heals and seals the gut lining, you get better absorption. You, you stop leaky gut. A lot of people are dealing with leaky gut. And then you, um, it, it just gives you, so then you're, you're bringing in all these bioavailable Again, full complex, no isolation, no mm -hmm. isolates, no calcium. We take your calcium. Well, if you don't take your calcium, with your magnesium, and Shauna can teach you all about those yeah, things. You're getting but, it through your food because you're able to absorb it. And it's a it's a complete food. Yeah. So it's a complete matrix of things. It doesn't have everything in it, but you you're getting everything in one thing. You're getting a bowl of soup, basically. Um, Lori was here this morning, and she said, "Yeah, we, we in Chinese culture, we just called it soup." Yeah. But I was raised on bone broth, she said. Well, that's it? a cool story. So Lori, a friend of mine from Redondo Beach, was just here and said the first time that she had your bone broth, she realized, I used to drink this all the time. She comes from a Chinese culture, and her mom made it all the time. It was just standard without yeah. even knowing it. So that's, um, I think, a really cool revelation when she realized that. 
Right. Um, so, so yeah, so what she's getting to as a kid, and mm -hmm. she's growing up, she's getting a full spectrum of amino acids. She's getting full spectrum minerals. She's getting, she's getting additional protein. Mm -hmm. She's getting collagen, which is the building blocks, which yeah. is going into, she said everyone comments on her skin, my skin. I mean, I'm only 35 years old. You can tell, I mean, <laughs> my hair is holding in place instead of dry. I mean, I haven't lost hair in a few years, but it's thinning, but you know. But yeah. Anyway, aside from that, you got to have a little fun too. So levity is what we're going to bring here. Yeah. But, the, but the truth is, is it's an overall thing. I, I want to show the bottom of this to everyone. It says, that's a smiley face, which is energetic. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm going to show this. I should bring this to show John McMahon. I'll bring yes, this back to class. Let's do it. Because the energy was a symbol from my dad. Yeah. Um, he gave me, showed me a smiley face, muscle tested. Oh, that's and the cool. smiley face, you're strong. The sad face, you're not yeah. so strong. And, uh, and so, then and, did you and, show what it says? Yeah, it says broth is good for you, promotes a healthier you. And we we trademarked that not sticker. in 2014 and 15, 2008. USPTO for the Flavor Chef broth is good for you, promotes a healthier you. And that whole concept was the idea of synergy. Mm -hmm. So you're gonna start drinking bone broth. Yeah. And as I like to say, you can't, you know, it's not going to help if you're eating Dunkin' Donuts and smoking ciggies. Yeah. You know, you can't have a cup of bone broth. You're pounding 16, 16 bottles of Pepsi a day. Right. Or diet Pepsi, which is even worse. It has to be the whole No judgments if you are, but just maybe want to think about it. No judgments. We're working on that. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, yeah, but you, it, it's the, the way to healing and maybe the beginning for a lot of people. I've experienced autoimmune issues. I've had gut problems before and... Um, I think it enhances a, 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 already a healing protocol. And so it's just an additional thing that somebody can do. Absolutely. For and their health. Again, here's the situation. The situation is with our bone broth. And there's a few other good companies. Mm -hmm. But there's a lot of, like anything, it's already been saturated into the market with lots of different things. But mm -hmm. you want it, you'll, you'll know. Test it vibrationally. Taste it. Ours is super delicious. This is the beef broth. We have chicken. We have a, a AIP version, which is autoimmune protocol approved, no onions, no garlic, which is also pet friendly. And we have a coconut soup, which we don't have the package for, but it's, it's my favorite. Our favorite, which is an AIP broth infused with ginger, mint, and lemon, yeah. all digestive property, all digestive, digestives in themselves. Yeah. You know, the ginger, the mint, the lemon, and the coconut milk, mm -hmm. and you can add a little cayenne to also stimulate digestion mm -hmm. as well to that. Yeah, we kept it kind of normal. So the quality is super important. No, no, uh, no qualms here. I'll call it like it is. We got the best bone broth on the planet. We're the only broth made with spring water, and we make it the way it's been made for thousands of years. So we don't. There's it was it was there was no shelf stable food till recently, and and canning and all that mm -hmm. other crap. But so. If anyone is, uh, what's that last question there? So the last question I would love to share is there, do you know of anybody or, or have you experienced any stories with people that have really healed? Obviously, they're probably using other methods, but with bone broth as one of the components. Yeah, the, the, you know, some of the main ones we've heard of is definitely with the leaky gut. Yeah. And um, the autoimmune, the, the, the quickening of recovery. Yeah. I mean, we, we got athletes like Kobe Bryant who bring it. To bring it. You, got Gwyneth, you got lots of celebrities now into they're this thing. It, yeah. And they're drinking good quality bone broth because mm -hmm. they can afford it, of course. And, and we make ours affordable, by the way, bonebroth.com. You, you can get 10 of these packages in the mail for about 125 bucks, which mm -hmm. is $12.50 a unit, which is kind of what it sells for retail. And I have a 10% off code. And so, well, that's with the 10% off. I was saying, yeah, you get yeah, free yeah. shipping at 135 yeah. and then you get 10% off, so you're going to be about 125 mm -hmm. And um, that's a freaking incredible Can't price. comes frozen in the mail three days on the East Coast, uh, three days wherever we go. Yeah. So incredibly, I could show you like okay. this too. Like You just see the, this is a defrosted, but the gelatin in here is incredible in our mm -hmm. beef, chicken. And the chicken is super delicious. So, mm -hmm. we yeah, and I, I mean, I, I start my day. So after my cup of coffee, which I really enjoy, I have a cup of this usually before I leave, or I'll bring it with me to work. I'll have it when I come home for lunch, and I'll have one when I come home for dinner. It just sits on my stove. So I pretty much have I have a whole one of these every single day. And the other thing I wanted thank to you. add is, yeah, and please, your body says thank keep, you. <laughs> yes, my body says thank you. My mind says thank you. But my son loves it. He in particular loves the one that I love with the coconut milk. So it it's great for kids too. I mean, to, to get them on bone broth at young age, I yeah, think it would you be. You know, the other healing protocol we know for sure is definitely take bone broth instead of a flu shot. You know, I mean, Absolutely. this is, this is going to improve your immune system to the point that you'll be able to defend against any of those mm -hmm. outward things coming in. And, you know, you're, you know, we have a gal, my print, my print shop that prints mm -hmm. labels for our other, um, 
couple of the broths we make. Um, she says every winter, her and her daughter, for two years, they just load up on the chicken bone broth. They're, yeah. they're Chinese. They drink it through October, November, all winter, never get sick. She said, I haven't been sick in two years. Mm -hmm. And it's so amazing um, to, to, to know that that's part of just a protocol to stay healthy, yeah. um, optimum health. So that's a really... A really important quality of it and um, again it's a digestive aid as well so you're mm -hmm. aging digestion of your of your cooked foods yeah and there's more we could say um, you can look like up. you can't go wrong absolutely like drinking bone broth every day lots of health benefits um, there was something else I was gonna add just to say that we we know in the kind of world that we're in we know a lot of people that uh, drink bone broth they do a lot of other health and fitness things to stay at their optimus, optimum um, health, but most people I know in this world do not get a flu shot. And um, that's something else to say that like, I there's a couple things I use that I say like, this is my flu shot. And um, I think that's pretty powerful. Absolutely. Yeah, and it, and it, it is, I mean, you, you're gonna do immune building things. And like I said, when, when we per said promotes a healthier mm -hmm. you, it's just an overall feeling. Mm -hmm. um, if, you're, if you know someone infirmed and stuff, it works really, Works really well with with recovery from autoimmune and cancer and treat people in treatment because they can it's easily digestible. Yeah. So. Yep. Awesome. Well, that's hey. great. I appreciate you sitting down yeah. and chatting with me. And um, are we missing anything? No, just uh, we have another little statement right here underneath the Flavor Chef Inc. We call we say love is the ultimate spice. So we put love in anything. We have kettle cooked with love on there, and we just. Want to infuse love into your life through our bone broth, mm -hmm. and um, there's an energetic signature that goes with that. So I agree, and just being here with you over the past couple of days, I would say I feel that the passion, and um, as we know, food takes on energy, and then thus our body takes on the energy. And being here with Lance over the past few days, I, I know for sure that there is love put into to each of these Absolutely. bone broths. So thank you. Yes, and, and a healing intention. Yes. Beautiful. Yeah. Well, thank you very much. If you have any questions, you can reach out to me. Um, Chef Lance is available at bonebroth.com. But thanks, everybody, for listening. Bye.